My name is Kaylee, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the latest discovery from France and Spain, where researchers came across the oldest currently known whalebone tools dating back to 20,000 years ago. This video is sponsored by Hungry Minds, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. So first, let's take a look into where the discovery was made and what the location can reveal to us about the significance of the find. The whalebone tools were discovered in the caves surrounding the Bay of Biscay, which is located to the north of Spain and southwest of France, as you can see on the picture on screen. The bay itself is quite notorious for its rough seas and it's also well known for the caves surrounding it, as some of these caves are adorned inside with prehistoric cave paintings and they hold quite the archaeological significance. So the archaeological significance is due to the Magdalenian culture that lived in this area and they were responsible for most of the incredible cave art and archaeologists also discovered settlements from this culture in this area as well. The Magdalenian culture was a late Paleolithic hunter-gatherer society that lived in Western Europe from approximately 23,000 until 12,000 years ago. I might make a video in the future on the Magdalenian culture, but in the meantime I highly recommend this video made by Northo2 to learn more about this fascinating culture of people. And of course it will be linked in the description down below. As you can imagine, I won't be able to cover the Magdalenian culture and do their significance justice in this video about the oldest discovered whalebone tools, which really is wonderful news that will teach us more about these ancient people and their way of life. And you know, I'm always excited to share amazing discoveries with you. So today, I've got something truly special. I've been absolutely lost in this incredible book that I can't wait to tell you about. So this is the book, The Ultimate Guide to Rebuilding a Civilization, and it's honestly unlike anything I've ever read before. Imagine having humanity's most incredible inventions and discoveries laid out in front of you through these stunning hand-drawn illustrations. Each page feels like discovering a hidden treasure, with these beautiful engineering drawings mixed with medieval art style illustrations. So I've spent hours just exploring these pages. There are over 400 of them, and I keep finding new details and little easter eggs hidden in the artwork. What I love most is how it breaks down complex innovations into these fascinating visual stories. Whether you're interested in ancient tools or modern technology, there's something here that will capture your imagination. The quality is absolutely incredible, from the matte art paper to the laminated cover, it's clearly made to last. And with 23 chapters covering 180 different topics, it's perfect for anyone who loves to learn. As someone who wears glasses, the topic of eyeglasses was very intriguing to me. I found myself reaching for this book whenever I need inspiration or want to understand how something works. This isn't just a book, it's a conversation starter, a source of inspiration and honestly one of the best gifts you could give to anyone curious about how our world works. Whether you're getting it for yourself, a friend or family member, it's something that will be treasured and explored for years to come. So if you want to get your own copy, click the link in the description down below and you can use code Kaylee10 for 10% off of your order until July 30th. Trust me, you won't regret adding this piece of history to your collection. So now that we know a little bit more about the location where the tools were found and the possible culture who created these whalebone tools, it's time to look into these tools themselves. A team of scientists from the Institute of Environmental Science and Technology of the Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona and French National Centre for Scientific Research and the University of British Columbia conducted the study into these ancient whalebone tools. More than 150 whalebone tools and projectile heads were discovered in the caves north of the Pyrenean range in the Bay of Biscay region, as you can see on screen here. 83 of these whalebone tools were analyzed during this study, as well as 90 bones from the Santa Catalina cave. These bones were all analyzed using mass spectrometry and radiocarbon dating to identify the age and the species of the samples. The study revealed that the bones came from at least five species of large whales. The oldest dates back to between 19,000 and 20,200 years ago. Which means that these whale bone tools represent the earliest known evidence of humans using the remains of whales for the creation of tools. 
This discovery gives us a rare glimpse into the lives of these ancient coastal communities and how these people relied on whales for survival. And it also helps uncover how these incredibly massive marine mammals once lived. So the study revealed that these ancient whales had slightly different feeding habits compared to the whales living in modern times, which actually suggests that the feeding behaviors of whales slightly changed over time, which may have been a result of changes in the marine environment. However, it is important to remember that there has been a sea level rise of approximately 120 meters since the Magdalenian culture inhabited this area, which means that the ancient Magdalenian shoreline as they inhabited it is inaccessible to today's archaeologists because it's 120 meters below sea level. What this discovery of these whalebone tools tell us for certain is that the Magdalenian culture had a much stronger link with the seashore compared to other cultures before them. We know that the Magdalenian culture depicted marine animals. They left behind the remains of seals, dolphins, marine fish and marine birds, as well as the fact that they ate marine mollusks and they used the shells as raw materials for ornaments, especially here north of the Pyrenean range in Iberia. But now we know that the Magdalenian culture created tools from the bones of whales as early as 20,000 years ago. And that is very exciting because we are learning more about this fascinating ancient culture with each discovery that we make. The Magdalenian culture is renowned for its cave art, their adaptability, and their advanced tool technology. And as time goes by, we learn more and more about their fascinating ways of life and how they navigated surviving in this world. So you may have seen my recent video where I covered the oldest discovered ivory tools on the channel, which date significantly older all the way back to 400,000 years ago. But after I stumbled across this discovery about, you know, the oldest discovered whalebone tools dating back to 20,000 years ago, I still felt compelled to share it on the channel as well. So I will place a card to the video about the ivory tools, 400,000 years old, here in the upper right corner and I will leave a link in the description down below for you to see. Because if you haven't watched that video yet, you should, it's cool. But now I only have one question to ask of you. Well, it's a little bit more than one. What do you think of these ancient whalebone tools? What do you think about the cave systems in which they were found? What do you think about the Magdalenian culture who created them and the fact that the ancient shoreline of the Magdalenian people now lies 120 meters below sea level? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card. I would also like to say a massive thank you to my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me and being here with me. And again, it's super hot and I'm sweating my ass off and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.